Okay, this uh, video is to help you guys get started on the additive volume lesson. Okay, if you're not in class, okay, or even if you want to go back and look at this if you are in class. Okay, we're going to look at additive volume. Okay, you guys know that the volume is the number of cubes, okay, that it takes to build an object. Okay, surface area was the number of squares in your net. Okay, the number of squares in your wrapping paper. The volume is the number of cubes it takes to build something. Okay, so we're going to look at rectangular prisms that are added to other rectangular prisms today. Okay, so um, let's just look at a few. This is just to get you started. Let's look at this first problem. If we want to find the volume of this blue figure and the purple figure, see, we can do that separately. And then we can get the volume of the whole thing if we wanted to break it apart. Okay, so let's look at the blue. Okay, we want to think length times width times height. Okay, length and width, that's a short side and long side of the base. Okay, so we have five on the base and we have eight on the base. So five and eight, you can't see it, but it's, it would be eight over here as well. So the length and width of the blue figure would be eight. This is a drag and drop. Okay, an eight and a five. The height is how high it is. Okay, it's 13 high. Okay, so to find the volume of that blue shape, we could take length times width times height. And you get 520 cubic centimeters. Okay, the volume of the purple, easier to see, easier to see all the side lengths. Okay, four and eight are the length and the width. Okay, eight's the longest, so it's the length. So length times width times height would be eight. I'm so used to typing instead of drag and dropping. Okay, so the length is eight. The four is the shorter side of the base, so it's four. The height, it's 13 high. Okay, so if we want to find the volume, you could take 8 times 4 times 13, and you get 416. So there's 520 cubes in the blue box, and there's 416 cubes in the purple box. We want to know the total number of cubes. Okay, think of it that way. We're going to add those two answers up, 520 plus 416. When we add those up, we get 936 cubes, okay, 936 cubic centimeters. Okay, um, let's see, let's, I'll let you guys do these to, on your own. What may look a little different is, um, some of these with missing measurements. Let's do one, because I don't want this video to be too long. Let's look at slide four. Okay, so this is a, a bigger one, a bigger shape, but it also, you have to work a little harder may, maybe to get the, the side lengths, like the lengths and the widths and the heights. Okay, let's look at this as a green plus a brown plus a blue. Okay, so to find the volume, you find length times width times height. Okay, for each of these three, we're going to add them up. Okay, the length, width, and height of the green. Okay, well, that's the tricky part. I see that it goes four back. Can you guys tell that? It's going to be going four back right there, even though you can't see it. So that's one, one uh, dimension of the, the base. Okay, now we don't know what this is. We don't know what that is, but we do know this is 20 all together, okay? And we know that 9 plus 4 plus the missing number that we don't know is also equal to 20. Okay, this and this and this add up to 20. Okay, so this is 9, and then if you add 4, that's 13. Okay, that leaves seven that this would have to be right here. 
Okay, this has to be 7. Okay, because 7 plus 4 plus 9 would equal that 20. Okay, that's the trickiest part of this. Okay, knowing the, the length and the width would be a 7 and a 4. Okay, and type these. The height would be 11. So the volume would be 7 times 4 times 11, which is 308. Okay, the volume of the brown. Okay, um, you got to look carefully here too. Uh, if you think about just the base, okay, think about just the base. It would still be 4 back, okay? It's still going to be 4 back right there. So 4 is one of the dimensions of the base. Okay, we still need this, the other dimension of the base, but look right up here. See how that's 4? Okay, that means this has to be 4. So this is 4 this way, 4 that way. So the length and width of the brown is a 4 and a 4. Okay, the height. Okay, it doesn't come out and give you that either. Okay, but this height is the same as this 10 combined with this 6. Okay, can you tell that? This height of 6 and this height of 10 give you the total 16 height of the brown. So this is really having you try to come up with these missing measurements. It's not easy to do sometimes. Okay, when we multiply length times width times height, we get 256. Okay, the blue, maybe the easiest one because you see all the you see all three dimensions. Okay, you see the four and the nine. Okay, that would be the the length and the width of the base. Nine's really here too. So here's nine, here's four, and the height's six. So take nine times four times the height of 6. Okay, when you multiply those together, 216. Okay, so the total volume, I want the total volume, and I know the volume of the green, and the volume of the brown, and the volume of the blue. Just add all of them up to get the total volume. So I'm going to add 308 plus 256 plus 216. I'm using a calculator. I'll give you a link for a calculator, too. 780 cubic centimeters. Okay, I'll let you um, do your best on these. Hopefully, that'll get you started. Uh, please let me know if you have any problems, Okay, especially if you're, you're at home and if something's not making sense to you, please contact me, okay?